Hello, everybody. Today I'm here with some more Disney Heroes Battle Mode, and it's time to showcase our next three heroes. And Quacker Jack just barely beat out the Sheriff of Nottingham, who I am currently working on upgrading, but I've got uh, Quacker Jack leveled up to the amount I would like to have him at, so it's time to show him first, and then after the next two characters are added, we will show the Sheriff of Nottingham. Um, and we've got two characters that have been in the game for a very long time, but June really didn't have too many updates, so we've kind of just been waiting on characters for quite a while. Um, and at this point I've already used Esmeralda and um, and uh, Russell and Kevin in the some team showcases, so I've already played as them. I kind of forget what they're all about, and we're going to be doing much more focused look at them today, so. And then I've not played as Quacker Jack at all, so that'll be exciting as well. And then hopefully soon we'll get two more characters, so then we can show the Sheriff of Nottingham as well, because I am very curious to see what he'll be all about. Uh, and I'm sure we'll try to fit him into some team videos if possible. Uh, we'll see. So... Let's go where we usually go. Let's try like chapter 14 with just the three of them. Maybe Joy as well. And just see. Oh, Esmeralda was already there. I should have kept her. That's alright. She's pretty close to. Uh, pretty close to Quacker Jack, anyways. And then we've got Russell and Kevin just a little ways down. So there the three of them are. Russell and Kevin just tower over the other two. Uh, Quacker Jack is pretty small. Alright, so we're gonna go in. And let's just examine all of them here. Try to see what's going on. I will say Russell and Kevin are kind of covering Quacker Jack. I'm not completely able to see what's going on with him. We can't forget Jolly also gets to join in the battle. Which is great. Uh, they seem to be doing pretty well. I could probably go up a few chapters and see how that works. Not only does Charlie get added in, but uh, we're also seeing uh, the teddy bear and uh, the puppet that Cracker Jack has. A lot of characters on screen. So let's move up to like chapter 16 and see if they can do anything here. But if they're still doing it well, I guess we'll move up again. I should have watched the Victor animations, I was only able to see Esmeralda, who covers herself, stays anonymous until the battle starts. So yeah, uh, there's a qualification for Jolly coming out, which I don't completely remember, but now that he's here, I think he might not come back for the third one, we'll have to see. Does the teddy bear stay out? No, it looks like he leaves as well. So yeah, they both leave. It might be a certain amount of damage Esmeralda has to take or something, or a certain move she has to do. I knew it at the time when I did that original team video and I just forget. And I don't know, I think the Teddy might just be um, Cracker Jack's white skill. So um, We'll do just like a couple more of these trying to watch and then we'll try to also bring them into the the levels that I'm actually working on and see if we can get any of them done with these characters. So, um, let's start focusing on the characters then, since we're going to be moving on. First up, we're going to look at Russell and Kevin. Uh, for the majority, it's just Kevin attacks and then Russell kind of helps out a bit. He grabs a chocolate and is able to heal all the allies, which is pretty great. I always love when a character has some, uh, some healing abilities, and it looks like a lot of them have a good amount of status effects. I suppose we do have Joy in here, and that could have something to do with it, but I don't believe some of those, uh, some of those are from Joy. I think they might be, um, I don't want to say. I legitimately don't know. Uh, but I could try and watch and see if we can point out when those start happening. Esmeralda's got quite a lot of stuff right off the bat. That might have been Russell and Kevin. That's what it seemed like. It might be the wilderness call thing that he has. <clears throat> and, uh... I feel like Russell and Kevin are actually the most straightforward ones. Uh, 
Kevin, she kind of just attacks. And then, like I said, there's some status effects and healing going on with Russell. Uh, but it's pretty easy to see that just by watching, and there isn't a lot of nuance to it. But I do quite enjoy them, and they're actually helping out quite a bit, so I'm happy that uh, we get to showcase them here today. I think out of all these characters, they're probably my favorite inclusion. I've been wanting to get up characters for a while, so I'm pretty excited about them. Uh, let's look at Esmeralda next. And the notable one that I always remember is her uh, flame one, where she pulls out her torch and breathes fire. She also has that tambourine move, which I'm not entirely sure. It must be some sort of status effect. And you can see here, I think it's after she takes a certain amount of damage, she goes to the back and then Jolly comes out in the front and kind of protects everybody. So Jolly is a great addition to this as well. Um, if not to do that much damage, then at least to kind of block some attacks from the main cast of characters. And um, she also just attacks with that. Um, I don't know what I should call it. That handkerchief or just blanket. I, I, sorry if it has a specific name. Um, I'm not sure what to call it. But yeah, Esmeralda is pretty fun as well. Uh, I quite enjoy her attacks. And that Jolly move is really good as well for the team overall. And there she goes, which is sad, but uh, we actually ju I just saw a Teddy die, but another one got spawned out right away, so that's interesting. So even if one dies, another one can get spawned in, which is great. Um, I just saw him throw the banana. I guess it's just I'm looking at Cracker Jack right now. Uh, he also pulls out the uh, Doctor Puppet. I forget what the name of it is. Uh, but I don't know if it does damage or if it does some sort of status effect. Uh, maybe even both. Here, when he whistles, I'm not sure if that's when Teddy's coming out or if it's a second after that. Uh, I, I wasn't able to see. But yeah, I feel like Quacker Jack has a lot going on. Each of these different toys kind of do some, something different. We're all trying right now, so we're not going to be seeing much. But yeah, the t he kind of stands in place and lets the toys do the majority of the work, uh, which does protect him quite a bit. And yeah, it's kind of the same thing as Jolly in a way, where the Teddy comes out and kind of does the attacking for him. Let's just do one more here. I think I just did this fight, but let's just do it again. Uh, that might mean that Esmeralda dies immediately, but that's okay. We've already looked at it. So yeah, I believe it's the same fight we just did. Um, but I do just want to see Teddy in action, because he's kind of the majority of the attacking. Uh, I don't know if, I, if he has any other moves in just a basic attack, or how he works. He does, uh, like I said, he, he doesn't stay for the next round. You have to call another one in. There's the banana he throws, there's the doctor. Uh, and other than that, I guess he doesn't really have any other attacks. He kind of just stands there and lets the toys attack. Kind of a coward. He does a laugh, which I would assume is giving us some status effect. I think I can see which one it is specifically, but I don't actually know what the name of it is. Uh, it's got like the sparkles. I believe it's the one that he was triggering when he laughs like that. So yeah, just another satisfaction for the allies. Maybe don't doing something to the enemies as well, I wasn't watching. Uh, so there we go. I'm going to try now to go into the chapter that we're on here, chapter 33, uh, with these characters. And I will assume they're going to die and be um, happily surprised if they live longer than one second. And it looks like the latter is what actually happened. Wait, no, the latter was me saying that... Uh, they all live longer than one second, but no, the, the former is what actually happened. Hopefully, uh, Mr. Incredible here can get out of his stoop here. Um, apparently not. You're joking, right? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> totally fine. Let's see if Randall can do something about it. I don't know. Joy died right away, so sorry about that. Nothing too important, I assure you. So hopefully Mr. Incredible with Randall by his side can do something this time. I think uh, Winnie the Pooh is what was stopping me, so uh, we we're able to do it this time, thankfully. Let's try and bring Joy back in if we can. 
Uh, it's very possible that the four of them just die immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what do you expect? They're very underleveled for these stages. Welcome to Neverland, mateys. Just let me find the Lost Boys and then we can all play together. Lost Boys? Sweet mother of monkey milk, count me in. Penelope, Peter, we can't do this right now. We have to find the dev nut that's here. I would like to note, I think we're probably going to see a new Peter Pan character fairly soon. We've been getting a lot of characters from series with a single character. Uh, we've been seeing those series get more characters added to them. Uh, uh, so I would assume we'll probably be seeing that soon. I would use Cracker Jack as an example, but he actually uh, is the third character from the series that he's in. Because uh, we already had... Um, shoot, I forget that rat's name at the moment. But we already had another villain from Darkwing Duck, as well as Darkwing Duck himself. Uh, shoot, I really can't remember his name. He has something to do with like electricity or something. It's not high voltage. Megavolt! Got it. We might lose this. Nope. <laughs> um, but like the Sheriff of Nottingham is a good example. We only had Robin Hood for the longest time. And now we're finally going to be getting... Uh, not going to be. We already got Sheriff of Nottingham. So I would say there's a good chance we'll be seeing that with Peter Pan as well. Because that's a pretty... Um, well-known franchise. And now that I'm saying this, I'm realizing that Peter Pan is also... a a series of two characters, because we have Captain Hook as well. Uh, but we got Darkwing to get another one, so it's possible. And he is a villain character, so I'd love to see another hero from the series. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but we... Uh, spoilers, we already know from some of the data mines that uh, this is continuing to happen. I won't say which specific series, but this is going to continue happening. I would assume. You know, maybe it stops after this next character, who knows, but... Yeah, we're not able to actually showcase his characters right now, but I don't really care about getting the three stars right now, so we might as well just keep them in. Cracker Jack survived uh, five seconds one time, so... But yeah, uh, I suppose I can take the chance now to say what I think about them. Um, I tried to be as quick about it as possible, because I do want to get through these stages and not waste too much of your time. And hey, they actually are alive right now, look at that. Uh, Esmeralda did die, unfortunately. So let's talk about Esmeralda first. Wait, no. Let's talk about Russell and Kevin first. Like I said, I anticipated them for a very long time. I've wanted up characters forever, and if we were going to get anybody, uh, if we could only get one character or one duo, it would, of course, be Russell and Kevin over someone like Carl. Uh, Peter, we're looking for a slip of paper with some crucial information on it. Do you know where something like that might be? The best hiding place I can think of is Tinkerbell's house. Can you take us there? Sure. Follow me. Great. The deranged pre-adolescent is back in charge. Yeah, he's fine, I guess. He had his own movie. But yeah, other than just anticipating them, um, and really happy that they got into the game, um, I don't know, their moveset is just kind of uh, nice, straightforward. Um, a good addition, but nothing special, I would say. Which is a little sad, because they are special characters to me. Um, and I wish their moveset was a little bit more special, but... I feel like they're actually fairly straightforward. And their death animation is very sad, watch. <laughs> Kevin just dies. And then Russell mourns her. Um, next is Esmeralda. Another character where she's got some nice moves. But other than that, also another one that I don't find too special. Again, Jolly, a character like that that has a move, a move that has something to do uh, similarly to what she does with Jolly is pretty great in my opinion, and the idea of her stepping back uh, to let Jolly come out is probably a good move. Uh, we're not seeing it in action here because she's just dying too quickly, but um, I do like that move specifically, and the rest of them are another uh, case where it's just fairly straightforward, I would say. Um, are there two lists for this game? Because there are so many characters. Uh, I, I would imagine there are. I don't know how accurate they would be. Um, sorry if these texts are bothering me, by the way. We've, we're actually having a pretty important conversation, I guess. But there's nothing, like I said, there's nothing to worry about. Um, hopefully it's not freeze, freezing like that. I got pretty stuck there for a second. Um, 
So yeah, Esmeralda, another case where it's just like, they're cool. Uh, it's fun to get some Hunchback characters, hopefully we get some more. Um, but I'm going to take them out now. That one we actually lost, and that, kind of bad on that final. So, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I guess I could uh, move on to... Uh, what up? Quacker Jack. Who else am I going to move on to? I almost sounded like I was pondering who I should start talking about. Quacker Jack. Um, the newest of the bunch. And I kind of... It's kind of sad that he just stands there and let this, lets the toys do stuff and he mostly does nothing other than his laughter. Uh, which seems to just give us a, a bit of a boost. Um, I wish I, we could see him actually attack a little bit, but I suppose that's part of his character. To kind of just stand back and allow the toys to do the work. Uh, that's kind of what he's all about. Um, so that's fair. Uh, I don't know, I just wish he had a, a basic attack as well. Uh, he could fight alongside Teddy sometimes. Again, I understand why that didn't. I just prefer a character to be actively attacking as well, but it seems like for the most part, uh, he's always doing something. Uh, you know, there's usually going to be a toy on stage doing something for you. Um, has King Louis been in a lot of these battles? Because there's been a lot of bananas all over the place. I haven't been paying attention until just now, but I was noticing those bananas. Um, yeah, they're actually wrecking us. Hopefully we can take it back here. Yeah. Looks like we can. <laughs> I love this Incredible. I bet he's really low on the tier list. I do not care. I love how he can decimate a stage like that. Um, I suppose I do say he's using his toys, but like the banana one, he's literally throwing it and then it immediately does damage. So it's not really like him using his toys. And again, with the uh, ventriloquist dummy, he also uh, kind of just uh, has an attack. So I don't know why I was saying it like, oh my gosh, he relies too much on his toys. It's really just the teddy that I was referring to. We're going to lose this one here. Um, I don't know how I can do that any different. Tigger can be really annoying sometimes because once he starts doing that move, you just can't hit him. Oh no, I suppose I can try and spam the auto button and see if that does anything. Let's take it off for this first one. Then save it up for the... Oh. Okay, everybody's got their specials, so... Man, Nathan will not... I guess he's what was expecting a response back. Whoa, that was a long freeze. And just like that. Sometimes I think about how this game is literally just a video, and the only way you can control it is by um, turning auto. I mean, to be fair, you can control whenever you want the heroes to use their skills, but most of the time I feel like you just want them to use them immediately. Uh, it's basically a video until you turn that auto off. Uh, Desert Sources Arena is really the only game that's like a feels like there's a lot of strategy to it. Disney Mirror vs. literally just like spam the attack button and then move out of the way when the characters are attacking you. Um, but yeah. Just kind of weird. The gameplay style of it. I don't think I've ever played a game like this before. But it runs well for video's sake, I think. I can just sit here and watch what's going on. I don't have to... Like, I'm never worried to record one of these videos because you kind of just sit here and allow the game to happen and I'm able to discuss the ideas of the characters. Even though I never know what I'm talking about all that much. I still enjoy talking about the characters. And I don't think I ever finished my thoughts on Quacker Jack. Um, he's cool. I feel like I was hoping for more from him. He's a really fun surprise character. I love that he ended up being a surprise. Obviously it wasn't really purposeful. Uh, that he specifically was a surprise, but we just happened to not get an update until he was shown off. Um, and I feel like Cracker Jack works so great as a surprise character. Uh, I hope to see more Darkwing villains. I'm not sure if I should be expecting it because I feel like it's probably not that likely. Uh, but it would still be fun to see. We have so many ducks in the game already, but I would like to see some of those villains that aren't ducks, like the the big bull or the water dog. I've, the liquefier, I think, is the dog's name. 
Uh, and also Bushroot is cool, but I think he's also a duck. So like I said, I'd like to see um, some that aren't ducks, actually. Man, Baloo survived longer than I would expect. Nick, these drawings are language too. Blitznack and Chuda, do you think? Right there with you, Carrots, but how do we find them? I don't know. We should go back to the city. He's probably out causing trouble. Wait, wait. What are you two even talking about? We know who can help us find the next same level. Well, I don't know who they're talking about. Is it Yaks or something? Who speaks that language? And it's also in this game. I was in this game at the time of this being added. Because I feel like it'd be a character, uh, like a character in the game, right? Yeah. Or maybe it's not from Zootopia, I guess. I didn't recognize who they were referring to. But, uh, hopefully we'll find out in the next chapter here. I'm wrapping up this chapter. Uh, the next video will be, sorry, the next level will be the last. So I'll take the time now to say thank you guys for watching. This went a little long as per usual, but I do like to get through these campaigns so I can uh, get caught up as much as possible. Um, and you know, this went fairly well. I didn't lose too many levels. And I had fun showcasing the new characters, even if my verdict was basically I didn't think any of them were all that great. Uh, we did end up losing that one, which is sad because I was saying how it was going so well. And I hope we are able to beat this, otherwise I guess I'll have to end it short. Oops. So yeah, basically just turn off auto. I guess I suppose I should probably heal quick too. And now I turn it on and off again. So, Mr. Carroll is the only one that has it, but he's really the most important one to have it. It's not fair that the enemies get to have more than five characters. That's messed up. Alright, final one here. Hopefully there's no... Nothing stopping me. I'm gonna end up pretty much right after this ends. So like I said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the showcase. I'm excited to showcase the Sheriff as well as... Uh, as well as the Data Mine characters that should be coming fairly soon. You know, we'll be getting the Ju July sign-in hero pretty quick, and then hopefully, since we waited so long for the June update, we'll be getting a July update pretty quick as well. Uh, so look forward to that. Uh, of course, I knew it. Can never just get an easy victory at the end. Let's see if my strategy that I've been trying to do is going to work for the last one as well. And there we go. Do this here, attack and then take it off, gotta kill Sally, and then we've all got our specials for the final fight here, and Hades might become a problem, no, we'll be fine, there we go, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you soon, goodbye, oh wait, let me just click continue so we can see the next chapter. Alright, so it's a tiny little dock. Alright, thank you, goodbye.